issue of electronic voting is more of a, a te technical issue uh, in the sense that we must have put in place a system that makes it very easy to have electronic voting. Are you saying but it's difficult? Is no, no, in the sense that what, the way it's been structured in the, in, the, in the chambers, you have to kind of like inform members ahead to come with a the, with the voting card. Uh, we need to adopt it in such a way that there and there, if something comes up, you can easily have electronic voting. And that's, that's, that's a reconfiguration. I mean, that's not difficult. Uh, I don't think there's any... Some of the issues, I think people say them and think that there's some big resistance to it. Uh, under this age setting, most of us really are, are people of change and reform. We, we want to see our Senate being as... as uh, being able to do best practice everywhere in the world. So some of the things are things we should be doing. So um, it's not the push by, by, by the people to make us. We also believe that, you know, we'd like to see more case of electronic voting as opposed to voice voting, but we'll get there. Um, I want to reassure you. Do you know how says, soon we'll get there? Well, I can't say because as I said, it's, it's, it's more for how do we reconfigure the process. Because the process over the years has always been that when, when you become a center of members, you have a, a voting card. Mm -hmm. So if you're voting normally before, it's okay, we're voting on a constitutional amendment tomorrow that needs voting card. All senators, please bring your card with us. I, what we need to put in place is a system where um, that is already configured. We just say, let's vote, and then you just, you just vote. But what I want to assure Nigeria is that it's, it is not a, a big issue. Um, we're on the same page is now just making it happen. It's not there's a resistance in doing it.